What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. So a recent playlist update has a road out to Modern Warfare that brought a couple of minor changes and additions, nothing really too, too major. However, since this new update has been rolling out to players over the past 24 hours, there has been a large number of players who are receiving permanent bans and Infinity Ward has yet to give a reason why or Activision. So today I'm gonna to be giving you guys my thoughts about this, offer up some explanations and so much more. Now guys, if you're watching this video, there's a chance you may have came across this message when you first load up Modern Warfare or Warzone yesterday, and it's the dreaded you've been permanently banned off the game. But the thing is, there's absolutely no explanation for this whatsoever. There's no explanation that says, oh, this is why you were banned or anything like that at all. Now, Infinity Ward has been sending out mass bans to players who have installed cheats on their game. A few months ago, Infinity Ward did state that they banned over 75,000 users accounts which is very very good to hear that they actually are kind of taking the hackers in the game seriously and they're trying to eliminate that um, from happening but apparently some of these players who were banned were actually not hackers at all they're just average normal players like myself and many others included and again this is absolutely crazy because there's no explanation as to why they were banned now I've done some research and I went to the Activision support page and the reason why is because I wanted to see the enforcement policy on on bans and uh, how they're reviewing everything and stuff like that if there's even like an appeal process I have it on screen for you guys right now and the very first thing it says is below is Infinity Ward's posted security and enforcement policy for Call of Duty Modern Warfare all infractions undergo a thorough review process by the Infinity Ward security team before enforcement and penalties are not subject to further review now the key thing there is infractions so those are like minor offenses something very very small but with penalties such as a suspension or even a ban those do not go any further than you know just the, the, they just hit you with a ban like they, they don't review anything there's no appeal process after you get banned there's nothing that they can do to change that or revert that back which if you ask me I think is a little bit crazy especially because of what's happening right now with a large amount of players getting banned off the game now most of the punishments for the various offenses include account wipes meaning stats emblems everything is literally gone but what's even bigger than just that are the players who've actually spent money on cod points and items inside of the game store they have lost everything and they do not get a refund at all so those players you know are they, they've lost out on hundreds of dollars potentially maybe even more um but also what's an even bigger kick in the balls if you ask me is, is those players who granted out the damascus camel because unfortunately all of that work and time you spent into getting that was all for nothing now <laughs> so like you sp literally wasted hours if not days grinding for that camel now um but yeah so when you're permanently banned, no way to revert that, no way to get that account back, and there's no way to get a refund for all your money on COD points, or refund on your time for that matter. <laughs> um, so I feel for you guys who were banned for no reason. If you're one of those players, then please tell me down below in the comments. But now, one thing I can think of is maybe you were falsely reported multiple times, possibly because you killed somebody in the game, and that player just happens to press down on the thumbstick option to report you, and after multiple times that happens, Infinity Ward says, system security program and process they just follow through with the ban but I would like to think and hope that maybe it's a little bit more intricate than that um, another explanation could possibly be for those of you players who attempted the various wall breach glitches or the helicopter under the map glitch or now even with the glitch that lets you start off the game with any weapon you can find in the pregame lobby if you've done any of those glitches and got reported for it infinity word could have hit the ban hammer on those players now I did discuss this over on my Twitter and there were a lot of players who were saying they've never done any glitches at all in the game so maybe some players were banned for that reason I'm not saying all but maybe some were and then lastly the only other thing I can think of is maybe you got reported for offensive or toxic behavior um, because during Infinity Ward's Black Lives Matter movement they made a point to state that racism and offensive behavior does not belong in their game at all so maybe they just went a little bit crazy with the bans to players who were getting a, a tiny bit out of hand 
hand with their language um, but those are just a few explanations I can think of one more thing maybe just you know the reporting system in the game just happened to malfunction and um, a lot of people just got hit with the ban hammer randomly for, for no reason at all um, so those are just some explanations there I am not sure what Infinity Ward is gonna do to remedy this or even if they're gonna explain anything at all like why a lot of these players are banned or give a re list of, of those things maybe in like a community post on Reddit or Twitter um, they could possibly just remain silent but um, if you go on the community support pages on the Activision support website um, there's just post after post after post of people saying that they've been banned for no reason and it's truly crazy to see it because I keep refreshing and within like every couple minutes there's like about three new posts there so it really did hit a lot of players and I really am curious to know why these people got banned I hate to say it but honestly I really don't think there's anything you or I can do Activision support cannot assist with this they definitely cannot tell you why you were banned so really the only thing to do is maybe just tweet to Infinity Ward and see if they could possibly come out with an explanation and that's really the purpose of this video as well I'm hoping I can use somewhat of the small platform I have to help spread the word that there is a massive ban wave of, of innocent people and so yeah hopefully this message does get through to them lastly guys I want to mention that I am now starting to stream again I try to stream at least once a day or every other day but for sure if I do not upload on a certain day then expect a live stream to go on either in the afternoon or sometime at night so make sure you follow me over on Twitter and subscribe to the channel turn on notifications so you can be updated when I stream and maybe we can play a few games together of Warzone or Modern Warfare multiplayer um, streaming has been a lot of fun for me yesterday I did a four loco stream which I do intend on doing a lot more of I, I get pretty crazy just you know drinking and having a fun time playing Warzone I actually won a game too which I'm gonna try and make into a video and upload that onto the channel so um, that's gonna be coming out soon as well and again guys please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments what are your thoughts about the mass ban wave of players were you one of those players who are hit with the ban hammer for Infinity Ward and if you have any other explanations you can think of of why you were banned or why other players are banned then uh, please tell me them down below in the comments thanks for watching love y'all so so much have a great rest of the day till next time i'll see you later one thing i forgot to mention the gameplay you're watching there is a hacker in this lobby you guys may have seen me report him inside the game too by the way um he just would turn on me so fast he had every shot lined up on me like it was obviously an aimbot of some sort um so i, I reported that guy and i wanted to use the gameplay too because um i think it would be it kind of does fit the the topic for the video and also to show that there still are hackers in modern warfare but the weird thing was towards the middle part of the game the guy just completely potatoed and he had a couple of deaths by me and that could be one way how cheaters are bypassing the security programs that infinity ward has installed because they may you know go off towards the beginning parts of the game towards the middle part and then it may be kind of towards the end is when they start to completely just not really hit their shots they kind of act like they're bad players and maybe that tricks the system to thinking oh shoot they're just having you know a normal game I don't know but um, yeah that guy was definitely hacking for sure and I reported him and yeah hopefully he does get banned but there still are hackers in Call of Duty